Hi, I'm Jack. I've just finished my A-levels and I thought I'd tell you about the dissertation style EPQ I did in year 12. I got an A star for my EPQ and hopefully this series will help you get one too. So in this video, I'm going to show you my Gantt chart that I made using Microsoft Excel. There's a link to it in the description and you can download it and edit it for, for, to use with your EPQ if you like. Or you can find a different template and use mine as inspiration for the categories and dates. The Gantt chart is a great way to demonstrate organisation and time management skills and assessors love them. So it helps them give you more marks, which is obviously desirable. The chart will help you stay on track, but you don't have to stick rigidly to it. If you find one part takes much longer or shorter than you anticipated, then that can go down your evaluation. But as long as you're generally able to stick to the plan and get everything in on time, you can say you successfully managed your time or that your time management improved over the course of the project, if that was the case. Again, I would really recommend that you create Gantt charts by your project and also don't forget to submit it along with your finished essay when you finish the project. So that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to check out the other videos in this series.